round number one of Art Battle in Toronto. Coming up in just a few minutes, we will have our first six artists stepping up to the easels, ready to take on the 20-minute countdown clock in front of a live audience. First round coming up in just a few minutes. In the meantime, enjoy the sounds of good PR. David, where are you? You are up to paint in the 
first round. Our David's friends came up to us. Second. 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 Second.
right, let's go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, is another one? Is there a David? Another one. Another one. Ellie, Ellie, we're gonna switch it up. <laughs> Right now, we are looking at Yana Leitis, uh, who is an artist who painted with us for the very first time in July 2022 and was the winner of that event. It was a charity battle for our battle for Ukraine, and she just took the audience by absolute storm with her super unique techniques, uh, passing over to... Emma Fleury here, and Emma has painted in St. Catharines as well as Toronto, and uh, she is back to claim a title hopefully tonight. Looks like she's got quite a lot of uh, blue going on on the canvas. I'm seeing a landscape orientation here, and we've got a little bit of a blank space at the bottom, but looks like we're getting uh, the impression of a sky right now. Potentially, she's throwing in some clouds. Of course, uh, Natasha Dishman, who is a tried and true art battle all star. Absolutely. She's painted multiple times in the Canadian National Championship uh, representing Toronto, and she is trying to win her way into the finals tonight. She's surely a difficult artist to beat. We have had her paint uh, many, many times, and she has won more events than you can count on your fingers. So she's definitely one to be watching tonight. over to uh, Stefano Bove, uh, who also is doing a similar color palette to Emma, uh, similar orientation. We've got that gorgeous blue being layered on right now, and uh, Stefano is really well known for just creating these really beautiful, immersive, textural landscapes. Uh, and I love the way that he's building in some of that purple uh, running into the blue right now. 
I think that that's going to really add a lot of depth to the sky for him already. Hard to believe that he's done all of this in only three minutes so far. Now we are with Bradley Fenwick. Uh, and I'm sure that he is playing to the local crowd right now. It looks like we're getting a CN Tower going on. We've got a really good basis of drawing there for the actual tower itself. And then we have uh, this rich ultramarine blue coming in. It's also kind of blended out with a little bit of black. Just really, really uh, lots of great depth going on there. And Yana just has done so much on the canvas already. She's got this gorgeous, brilliant uh, orange underpainting going on right now and has layered some more neutrals on top of that. Something that Yana uh, brings to the easel every single time is just so much depth and transformation. She really achieves that in absolute spades. Uh, every time that we're going to do a revolution around the Art Battle easels tonight, you're going to get a different painting at Yana's easel. Uh, and so I'm sure that the crowd is going to be really very interested in that. And here we are with our wild card, Dylan. Uh, and she is braving the easel. A wild card artist is an artist that is pulled from the crowd. So when you come in to see Art Battle, at the door they ask you if you want to put your name in the hat for a chance to paint. And Dylan was our lucky artist that was pulled from the hat. And she has gone right up to the easel with no preparation. We set a palette for her. We gave her some brushes and she's doing what she can with it. Looks like she's got quite a lot going on on the easel already. Back with Emma here, and where she has left the canvas blank, we're now seeing uh, this kind of white, potentially snowy landscape starting to come in. And I'm seeing uh, maybe the suggestion of a river. We've got a lot of subtle variation right now, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. We're basically just seeing the biggest point of contrast being this river and I think that that is going to be quite the draw for people they're going to feel really drawn into the work uh, as she's establishing depth with the winding river uh, and it is establishing that just with line and contrast here back at the easel with Natasha Dishman uh, and I have to remind you guys this is a five minute painting so far. Uh, Natasha is not one to be messed with. We've got this absolutely stunning portrait uh, coming out and she's so expressive as she paints. Just watch the way that her hand really dances across the canvas. And we've got so much uh, of that beautiful washy blue coming uh, through the background and just really cascading down the canvas and adding this unique energy into the piece. Transferring over to Stefano here, and looks like uh, we are potentially getting some Roman architecture here. This is actually something that we've never seen from uh, Stefano in battle, and so I'm really looking forward to seeing how he executes this piece. Uh, we've got this just really wonderful sense of light coming from the top corner. Uh, the light just peeking through the clouds and then uh, going into that darker portion of the sky on the other piece. Gorgeously, we've got this, uh, this this desaturated bluey gray. I think that is going to end up suggesting uh, snow potentially. And then we now 
have the emergence of two figures walking through this snowy landscape with that little bit of yellow glow underneath them. Our wild card artist putting lots of color down on the canvas. We have this great sense of directionality coming diagonally uh, that's being pulled through these colors. Back over to Natasha now, and she started to some additional colors into the background. We're getting uh, more of these kind of lime greens starting to come in. And the way that she's layering this lime is really setting off the magentas and the purples that she's got going on within the portrait. Uh, Natasha has this really absolutely uncanny ability to balance uh, warm and cool colors within her work. And she just strikes this balance of keeping the work very saturated, but still feeling balanced. Stefano here, and he's really getting into this, uh, this architecture here, getting uh, the shadow into the arches here as well. Really continuing to tell the story of where the light source is coming from. And he's about halfway through, so we're 10 minutes through the round, and voting is now open. So head on over to artbattle.com slash AB2423. That is where you will be able to cast your vote and also bid on any of the works in the silent auction. That's right. You don't need to be in the room to bid on these works. We will ship them to you. This really careful brushwork here on the tower is just reading so well. Uh, Bradley is using a flat brush, a very flat squared off brush, and it's giving him all of these wonderful sharp lines. Yana is literally painting off the hip now. We can see that she's got her palette uh, braced against her hip. And this piece keeps evolving in such a wonderful way. Uh, we've got all of these lilac tones going on in the sky. Uh, this buttery yellow is meant to be the highlight expressing sunlight on the, on the snow. And then we have just the impression of trees here. And I gotta remind you guys, we're only halfway through and this piece for Yana, I feel like she could walk away any minute now and call it finished. Uh, but Yana is surely not done with her layering techniques. We're starting to see some snow making its way onto the boughs of uh, the trees there. Back with our wild card artist here, and she's really taking advantage of her palette and using all of the colors at her disposal, but in an unconventional way. We have uh, the red sky, and uh, the grass is still green, but it's being contrasted by that red sky there. It looks like we have a little bit of a suggestion of a landscape starting to come in. And we can see Emma as well is working on a snowy landscape, uh, punching in some trees there, getting a really great sense of directionality from those trees, bringing the eye of the viewer upward and calling attention to the beautiful gradient that she has going on uh, in that blue color field of the sky. I just really appreciate uh, the super dark nature of the river. I think that it's providing such a good point of focus and really is what's drawing you into the scene and creating kind of an immersive experience for the viewer. You kind of start with your eye at the mouth of the river and then you're guided upward into the trees and then your eye moves upward into the sky. Natasha just absolutely killing it. Uh, you can really see 
her time spent as an artist here because the way that she's using these proportions uh, and the way that she's executed them so far is just so totally spot on. Uh, we have, and that's really difficult to get that kind of three quarter view of a portrait and to get all of those features in the right place. That can be quite the challenge, especially in the 20 minute arena when you don't necessarily have the opportunity to step back and kind of assess your placement of each stroke. But Natasha is such a pro. And getting into this unconventional color space as well with Stefano, that kind of seems to be uh, the theme of the night is taking unexpected colors and really celebrating their usage and the way that they play together. We're having uh, almost like a Fovis theme going on in this round number one. We've got about six minutes remaining on the clock. Stefano still has quite a few of these uh, arches here that are allowing the background to bleed through. I really like it. I think that it adds kind of a little bit of a surreal element to have the sky peeking through the actual architecture itself, the walls, as opposed to just the arches. Uh, but it looks like he's filling that in. I'm sure that either way is going to be excellent. And again, the super careful brushwork from Bradley. Now we're seeing he's adding on, it almost looks like a cake, the way that he's uh, put the CN Tower together. It's so much fun. And the way that we just saw him drag those bits of paint upward with his fingertip into the rest of the wet paint, just to get the way that light expresses itself is uh, really stunning excellent uh, that we caught that little technique there from Bradley. Really appreciate that. The level of depth here from Yana continues to amaze. Uh, every stroke is so thoughtfully placed and we're getting such a great example of movement as we the viewer are kind of drawn into this painting but also now of texture. Yana has laid down I would say the majority of uh, the scene and established the content of the painting. And now she is leaning really hard into getting those textural elements on there that she's known so well for. We can see her palette knife just dancing along the trees and giving uh, the trees this heft and 3D quality. And us with the camera right up close to it, we can actually see the shadow that the, that the paint globs are casting. And it just, it, it couldn't be a more immersive painting. Our wild card here, uh, looks like she's done some really careful time management. And we are getting into our last kind of quarter of the canvas in the last quarter of the round. So great job to Dylan there, our wild card. Enjoying the surreal nature of that as well. Definitely getting a, a sense almost of some figurative element there, the landscape as a female body. Emma as well, uh, loading up the boughs of her trees with some of the snow with a palette knife. Really uh, giving us that 3D quality. I always really appreciate artists who work with uh, palette knives. It's something that I myself am quite intimidated by because you have to let go a little bit of the control and really celebrate the media itself. And we can definitely see that Emma is doing that as well. She's a very expressive painter and uh, it looks like she's not holding back in this piece at all. Back with Natasha here. And in our final three minutes, she's putting in her lowest points of contrast or her darkest points of contrast into the face and just really having it, just those few strokes, that little expression in the eyebrow, that little bit of shadow on the back eye, the darkest point of the nostril, the corners of the mouth. Any artist who works in portrait knows that those are really what set the portrait off. We can also see that Natasha has that tiny little flick of white 
in the eye that is really just helping this person become real. It's really helping this portrait uh, connect and communicate. Stefano continuing to layer in these colors here and getting that wonderful balance uh, between warm and cool, using all of these warm colors in the structure to really uh, play off of the sky that he'd created earlier. And within this piece, we also have kind of uh, contrasting modalities of painting. We have this looser, more abstract uh, celebration of architecture. And then we have this more blended, uh, softer expression in the sky. And so this is my first time seeing this kind of painting from Stefano. And it's really reading very well to me. And I'm sure that the crowd is going to appreciate that as well. Peeking over at Bradley now. And the way that he's expressing the light here is really just absolutely fantastic. These small points of light uh, where he's added just this little tiny hit of white just really communicates so well. Back with Yana here. And just, you can see that her brush is moving so quickly and it's just dancing across the canvas. We have just under one minute remaining on the clock. And Yana is not wasting any time. She's going super, super fast, getting in all of those last highlighting moments. And it appears so uh, arbitrary, the way that she is dancing the brush across the canvas and adding in those highlights and lowlights and just swirling her brush on the canvas, but then she takes it away and it just looks so wonderful. of our battle in Toronto. The crowd energy is just insane. It's a sold out show tonight. I would say that we have about 450 to 500 people here tonight and every single one of them is gonna be voting. Uh, and you also can make a difference in the voting results here tonight at artbattle.com slash AB2423. You will register to vote and cast your vote for your favorite artist. We want to know who you like best. The top two artists, as voted by the audience, will be moving forward to the third and final round and joining our artists who are winning from round number two as well. So 
head over to that link, get registered to vote, and also check out all of these works in the silent auction. A lot of these artists are selling uh, for quite high numbers out of their studio, so now could be your opportunity to collect one of these pieces. Uh, don't miss out and bid early and bid often. We will be back for round number two with another six artists up at the easels in just a few minutes. Stay tuned for round number two. Yeah. 